states are increasingly aware of the ongoing threat. According to Managing Director and Chief Executive Officer of Republic Bank Barbados Limited, Ian D'Souza, they regularly have to upgrade their systems to thwart the scammers. Uh, constantly playing catch up with these guys. I mean, the business of, 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 um, uh, of electronic fraud is, is a business, you know, and we saw was it last year or year before where we had the Bulgarians? I, I couldn't believe it that they got charged a fine, they paid the fine and cash and left. I mean, that was amazing. <laughs> you know, but uh, no, it, it is a constant catch up and it is something that uh, at the Bankers Association level, I sit on that board and also at the bank level, you're constantly doing work to keep yourself, yourself ahead of the game. He says it has therefore been a costly undertaking for the banks. Let me tell you, it's a very, very, very expensive thing. What you have to do in constant upgrades to your, your software and your equipment, I mean, every new ATM that you put in now must have pinhole cameras and must have certain devices that, pre that, 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 that um, make it difficult for the, the skimming people to, to read the, the, the mag stripes on, on, on these um, cards and so on. So you just try to keep yourself ahead, but they're there and they, 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 they're learning what you're doing and trying to find their own ways of getting around. Chris DeCaries has been appointed the new chairman of the Barbados Entrepreneurship Foundation. The directors of the foundation made the announcement following the retirement of Peter Booz, who chaired the foundation from its inception. In a release, they said, Mr. DeCaries brings a wealth of experience to his new role, having developed a strong reputation both regionally and internationally as a senior business executive and consultant. He has served on several national organizations and is currently the managing director of an international shipping group based in Barbados. Here now is a look at how stocks traded on selected exchanges across the region.